It's not a strange thing for footballers to represent two different countries in their careers. That's because FIFA rules allow footballers to switch countries provided they meet a certain criteria. And today, we'll be talking about players who represented the English national team but switched to play for other countries. We'll start this list with the wonder kid Jamal Musiala. A bit of a hurtful place to start with for the English people we know. Now, just so you know, Musiala was born in Germany to a British Nigerian father and a German-Polish mother. By the age of seven, he'd moved to England with his family, and because of the combined dual citizenship of both parents, he was eligible to play for four countries. Yeah, that's right. Of course, he never played for Poland or Nigeria, but during his youth career, he represented both Germany and England. And when the time came for him to pick his senior national team, he opted to play for Germany. Perhaps he did that because he felt he'd win more trophies with Germany, but do you think that he made the right choice? Up until now, it looks very bad for him. Meanwhile, here's another guy who could have also chosen to represent Nigeria or England, but opted for another country instead, for Larin. Balogun. You see, the former Arsenal striker was born in the United States to Nigerian parents. He moved to England at a young age and was raised there, making him eligible to play for both England and the United States. He later went on to represent both England and the United States at the youth level, representing England for most of his youth career though. But when it was time to choose the senior team that he'd play for, he knew he had a huge decision to make. You see, he was one of the brightest young strikers in England, but at the same same time, he also knew that he had to contend with Harry Kane at the national level. And let's face it, Harry Kane is easily one of the best in the world. And even strikers like prime Jamie Vardy were unable to displace him from the national team. So it would have been so difficult for Balogun. And well, if there's one thing about Balogun, it's that he loves to have a starting place at all his clubs. So he opted to represent the USA instead. And frankly, it's difficult to blame him for that. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering wondering how many good players could have played for Nigeria but chose other teams? Well, the answer is a lot. So go ahead and tell us in the comments other players that you know that could have played for Nigeria. But for a change, here's one guy who opted to play for Nigeria, and that's Victor Moses. Oh, of course you remember him. He was one of the key players for Chelsea when they won the Premier League under Conte, but he was also one of the key players for Nigeria when they won the African Cup of Nations in 2013. And that one wouldn't have been possible if he didn't snub England. He chose to play for Nigeria over England. You see, he was born in Nigeria and moved to England at a young age. He'd later go on to play for the English youth teams before switching over to Nigeria. And boy, you would agree that he did big things for the country before he retired from international football in 2018. Another guy who would be hoping to follow in his footsteps and win a trophy for Nigeria after leaving the English team is Alex Iwobi. Born in Nigeria, Nigeria, Iwobi moved to England at the age of four and grew up there, making him eligible to play for both countries. He would later join the Arsenal Academy, where he represented England at various youth levels and was expected to play for the senior team. But in a surprising turn of events, he chose to play for Nigeria instead. And well, that may have something to do with the fact that his uncle is the Nigerian football legend JJ Okocha. He has since gone on to become one of the first names on the Nigerian Nigerian team sheet. Now, moving away from players who chose Nigeria, he is one guy who opted to play for their West African rivals, Ghana, Tarek Lamptey. Unlike all the other guys, Lamptey was actually born in England, but of course his parents were Ghanaians, so he was eligible to play for both countries. And just like all the others, he started his international career with the English youth teams up to the under-21 level. However, he was convinced by the Ghanaian Football Federation to switch allegiances and represent Ghana Ghana at the senior level. And well, he's gone on to become a regular for them and was even named in their World Cup squad last year. Now, we've been talking about players who switched from England before they could even play a game for their senior team. But here's one guy who actually played for the senior team before switching, and that is the famous Wilfred Zaha. You see, he was born in Ivory Coast, and just like the others, he moved to England at a young age. He then represented England at various youth levels and even played two games 
games for the senior team. Pretty interesting, right? Now, you're probably wondering how he was allowed to switch after playing for their senior team. Well, the answer is that those two games he played for the three Lions were non-competitive, so he was still very much eligible to switch to the country of his birth. And after going about four years without another senior call-up for England, he decided to take that chance and play for Ivory Coast. That Zaha story is a bit similar to that of Mikhail Antonio's. You see, unlike all the others, Antonio was actually born in England, but never actually played for any of the English youth teams. However, he later got a call-up to the senior team, but never actually made a debut for them. After several efforts to make him play for Jamaica, he finally agreed to switch his allegiance from England. Of course, these are not the only players who have switched to another country after previously playing for one. You probably know of others, so go ahead and tell us some of the other players in the comments. While you're at it, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, do hit that subscribe button as well. Catch you next time. Bye!